Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today I'm going to be going through a practice test problem that might show up on an early test in a calculus class. Um, before I get started, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing because it really helps me to keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. So, this one we might be asked something along the lines of find the domain of the following function. So find the domain of f of x equals the square root of 5 minus 2x divided by x minus 2 times x plus 7. Okay, now go ahead, try this problem on your own, and see if you can figure out what the domain of the function is. Alright, if you haven't paused it and tried this problem on your own, I encourage you to do so. But let's go through and try and figure out what we would do. So remember, there's three things that we are not allowed to ever do when we're finding the domain. We cannot divide by zero. So you cannot have zero on the denominator. So any number divided by zero, that's a no-go. We also cannot do the square root of a negative number. We can do the square root of zero, and we can do the square root of positive numbers, but we can't do the square root of a negative number. And then the last one is we can't do a logarithm of a negative number or of zero. So those are the two things that we cannot do a logarithm of, and you might also see this written as the natural log of a number or zero. So those are the three things that are going to cause a problem with our domain. So in this problem, do we have any of those sorts of situations? Well, we do. We have sometimes when we're dividing by zero, when either x minus two is zero or x plus seven is zero. So those two things are going to be pieces that are going to cause problems in our domain. So that means we know that x cannot be 2, because that's going to make the x minus 2 be uh, 0. And we also know that x cannot be negative 7. So those are the two things that we cannot have in order to allow us to still have division. Now the other piece is we also have a square root that's showing up. So that means we need 5 minus 2x that has to always be greater than or equal to 0. So we need those to be true, and so how can we go through and solve this? Well, we can add 2x to both sides. So we add those and we get 5 has to be greater than or equal to 2x. And then we can divide both sides by 2 and say that 5 halves has to be greater than or equal to x. Okay, so how do we put all three of these pieces together to give us our domain? Well, what we can do is we can go through each piece and put them all together as one big thing. So, we know x can't be 2, x can't be negative 7, and x has to be bigger than or equal to 5 halves. So if we go on a number line and we plot each of these things, we have, here's negative 7, here's 2, and then 5 halves, that is going to be about 2.5. That's 2.5 right there. So we know that we can't have it be 2, so we have a hole there. It can't be at negative 7, so we have a hole there. And then it has to be greater than or equal to 5 halves. So we can include 5 halves. And then x, oh sorry, x has to be less than or equal to 5 halves. So that means it has to be everything on this side. Now we can't include those holes, so we're going to just skip those. And so that's going to be our domain. And how do we write that? Well, each piece of this can be written separately. So this one is from negative infinity to negative 7. This piece is from negative 7 to 2. And this piece is from 2 to 5 halves. And since we include 5 halves, it'll be a square bracket. And then we're just going to piece all of those together with union symbols, and that's going to be our answer. So our answer will be negative infinity to negative 7 union with negative 7 to 2, union with 2 to 5 halves. And that is the domain of this function. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you really liked it, please like the video. Um, if you have other videos you'd like me to go over, please leave those in the comment section down below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and good luck with all of your math.